reason why I decided to do this video is that there were certain parts that were missing, just like, um, especially for the Mac. So when you get ready to load this up, like when you get ready to format it, you're gonna get that message that's basically saying, you know, erase everything, but you have to just go ahead and do that so that you can locate that SSD drive. So um, that was the part that was missing for me, but it's a very simple process. Okay, we've done the unboxing for the Akai uh, MPC X, and now what I'm getting ready to do is install an SSD drive in the Akai, okay? So I got the Samsung 870 Evo. Uh, this is the SSD drive, that's a 500 uh, gigabyte drive that I'm gonna put in. So, getting ready to get started on this. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this bad boy over like cheer. There we go. And I'm gonna take these screws out. There's this rear panel on the MPC devices. Um, that you can just remove for the SSD drive, right? So this is the panel here and off it goes, right? So from what I understand, you will attach the SSD drive to these screws here. Now my MPC came with, so there's four screws here. I'm gonna use that to attach the SSD drive to this. Um, <clears throat> once it is attached, um, I have to be very careful with this. Just gonna connect it using this cable here. So it's the SATA cable that you gotta attach it to do that, so. So now we're ready for phase two. So I, I've got it screwed on here, on Flip. this panel. Flip, mm -hmm. okay. And so you can see the screws here. That's that's how you do it. And usually these, these things come with that. So next part is to attach this cable. All right. So the short parts on this side kind of goes in here. There it is. Kind of locked in there. Then it's gonna kind of switch over this way. And you got to be very careful with this. Now this is still computer stuff, so gingerly set it, set it into place like I just did there. So I'm about to screw this back on and then after that we're going to fire it up, get it formatted. So I put this into controller mode. Um, it's looking for the MPC now. So first thing you got to do is you got to put your MPC in um, controller mode. Okay, so uh, select the empty project and go to menu. So MPC, it's going to enter into controller mode. Now, once once I do that, uh, I have a Mac. Okay, um, and what I didn't necessarily see, see, then you're going to get this over here on the Mac, right? And then you hit initialize. And it's giving me this generic or whatever it is, generic thing, right? And that is a, the, the drive that I put in, that SSD drive, that's it. So what I gotta do now is format it and format it to um, a FAT32 type of thing. So I'm at the drive, I'm going back in the standalone. I'm going to say, are you sure? Yeah, so I removed the drive over there. I eject the drive over there so that you don't damage anything. Now it's getting ready to go back in standalone mode. One of these days. Okay, now I'm going to just load up the project. Alrighty, so project's loaded. Now the test is to see what do we get when we go to our browser. Let's go places. So I named the new drive Projipi X. And there it is. And I had a Kai SSD. I put my samples and sense over there. And there was one project over there. Um, 
which I'm actually going to make a projects folder uh, through the computer and I'm just going to dump that in there but so now I can come here and I can load this project so why did you do this in the first place um to get extra so your um your Kai it, it comes with an external drive and an internal drive on it and uh, it's kind of weird because when you hook this up to uh, the computer it won't load it, 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 the computer won't see it I'm sorry mm -hmm. so so your computer won't see the drive that's internal mm -hmm. to this however it will see like I have um, I have a, a SD drive, 128 gigabyte SD drive um, on it. And then um, I also have the SSD drive. So I have 500 gigs on that. So that allows me to store all of my sounds internally and things like that. And I go up to 500 gigabytes. Um, so anyway, that's kind of where we are with this right now. I mean, I, I don't have anything turned on, but it, it loaded up. I, I loaded up a project off of my drive. Just wanted to kind of let you guys see that. And I'll probably be loading some other stuff as far as me working on projects and things like that as I learn stuff. So anyway, talk to you later.